Hi. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about how telehealth can be used to support your child's goals. Telehealth sessions can take place with you as a parent or carer and other times your child will need to be involved, depending on what the focus of the session is. For example, if the focus is on toileting and sleep, your child may not necessarily need to be there. However, if it was focused on meal times and your therapist thought that it may be useful to be able to observe your child within this routine in order to develop some ideas and strategies to support that goal, then your child would need to be present. At the end of each session, your key worker will plan for the next session with you. This will include what the next session will look like, what the focus will be, if your child needs to be present, the time of day that it will take place, and any other preparation that may be required. So, what do you need to be able to prepare for a telehealth session? In order to do a video call, you need access to a camera, speaker, and microphone. Devices such as a mobile phone, a laptop, computer, iPad, or tablet generally have all the features needed for a video call. You'll be able to share with your key worker what platforms you've used in the past that you may be most comfortable with, and they will also offer suggestions that they work with regularly, such as Microsoft Teams or WhatsApp. They will support you to set this up if this is something new. Before the telehealth session begins, it can be useful to choose a quiet, well-lit room. Earphones can support sound quality, and it can also be helpful to have a mobile phone present just in case the video call fails. It can also be helpful to check your background in the video call to make sure there's nothing that will be distracting during the session. During the telehealth session, your key therapist will check that you can hear them. They'll also confirm that you're not recording for privacy reasons. They will double check who is present just in case there's other people that can be, that can hear the telehealth session but cannot be seen by the key worker. Your key worker will then talk about the cost of the session and also then the goals that you had planned to talk about and any other concerns that you might like to focus on during that session. The session will then begin. Following the session, your key worker will develop a plan with you around what will happen between sessions and any ideas and strategies that you might like to try and anything that they may need to follow up on in order to support your child's goals. They will then develop a plan around what that next session will look like. Again, looking at what the focus will be, if your child needs to be present, what time of day it will take place and any other preparation that may be required. They will then ask for your feedback and will alter the next session, depending on what works best for you. Thank you for taking the time to listen and we look forward to working with you and your child over telehealth services. Thank you.